It is 11.29 p.m. on December 15th, 2021. And tomorrow, December 16th, 2021, at 7 a.m., we get our ATAR results. Spider-Man also comes out tomorrow, so that's cool. I'm gonna give you my ATAR predictions. I'm very tired, I'm going to bed after this. To start us off, allow me to give you a list of my subjects. English, systems engineering, media and music performance. And of course last year I did general maths in which I got a study score of 34. English by far I think is going to be my best subject, so <laughs> hopefully I'm right about that because I tried damn hard in English and I actually didn't mind the books we did this year. Do I remember what we did? Absolutely not. The second we stepped out of that exam, that information left my brain. Systems engineering, my teacher had very high hopes for me. I was the only girl in that class. Uh, but I still did pretty well in the folio subjects. I did completely flunk the exam, which I didn't answer all the questions because, you know, I thought I skipped a few and when I went back I opened it up and I'm like, oh, you have five minutes left and I had two pages of questions I had left unanswered. So that was great. Um, media, I did really well in the folio side of things. I made a media film, you can see it here. I'm really proud of it. I did a lot of work. My folio was like 46 pages or something. And did top screens, didn't get in. Oh well. I mean, it was my first film I've ever made, so... Aside from the YouTube videos. I'm not complaining. Anyway, I did really well on the folio side, but the theory side with like the agency and control in the media and things like that, I got an average about 70s in the sack, so it's not the best to boost it up. So next up is music performance, which we put a lot of effort into the performance side of the exam, which was 30 minutes, uh, but we played for 25. We had a lot of fun. It was really great. Um, so I hope I did really well, same as my partner for that exam, Sienna, because she was really stressed about it and she was the one who really made sure that I practiced because I didn't want to let her down. So I'm really glad that I did. Uh, I hope our exam score goes well. Uh, the theory side of things, ugh, the theory side of things was not the best. Again, like 70s, 80s kind of, but um, I was m moderately confident in the exam. So hopefully I did pretty well in music performance. So for English, I'm hoping to get a study score of 40. For systems engineering, I'm hoping to get a study score of 36. For media, I'm hoping to get a 38. And for music performance, a 37. So we'll go 36, 37, 38, and a 40. My goal for this year was to get higher study scores than what I got last year for maths, which was a 34. So fingers crossed that I achieved that goal. That was pretty much the only goal I had this year, considering we did our entire VCE in my bedroom. So yeah, those are my predictions. I will see you in the morning. I set my alarm for... Actually, I'm an alarm freak. I set way too many alarms. I set an alarm for 6.30, 6.45, 6.55, and 7. So when I get my results... Oh, I need to get my ATAR. So uh, I'm hoping I get an ATAR of 70. If I get more than that, brilliant. I'll be ecstatic, like real happy. If I get a 60, I'll be kind of disappointed because I figured I would have done better than that. Um, but yeah, I've been, when it comes to school, I've been pretty good with that. I loved school. I loved learning. I loved all of that. I was super good at I wasn't super good, but like I really enjoyed maths, I really enjoyed English, I enjoyed spending time with my friends, and I'm really gonna miss it. So, my even though the ATAR has no... It doesn't matter. The ATAR does not matter in any single way possible. There's no way the ATAR matters. So, even though it doesn't matter, and you can get into any course you want, regardless of your ATAR, I wanted to just see how well I could do in VCE despite being diagnosed with diabetes in the middle of VCE, despite being in the middle of a pandemic in the middle of VCE. So yeah, my 
goal is to see how good I could possibly do facing all these challenges in my VCE journey. But yeah, I'm really going to miss high school. So, best of luck to all my fellow class of 2021 students out there who are getting their ATARs today. And yeah, I'm very excited. We'll see what my reaction is. It is 6.59, 30 seconds to go. 10 seconds till I get my results. Oh, it's too early for this. All right, English. Wow. 32. I really thought I'd get much higher. Apparently I didn't do very well on the exam. Um, media, 37. That's crazy. Music performance, 30. And systems engineering, 35. Systems engineering was my second highest subject. That's crazy. No 40s, unfortunately. I must have done well on the last exam because that was an A. Alright. Okay, I got where I think I was going to get. 74.95. Yay, I'm so happy with that. That makes me happy. Oh, okay, so... <coughs> my best subject was... Uh, media, further math, systems, um, English, and the music performance. I really, really thought I would have done much better in English. I had averages of 80s to 90s for English this year. It must have been that last exam that screwed me over. So, there you go. I'm happy with the 74 point. 9.5. I want it over 70, I got over 70. So, that's good. I wonder if I enter like my study scores into the ATAR calculator, I wonder what it would say. Um, English, I got 32, I think. Nope, wrong one. Where's my... Oh, here. Um, let's go back. Media was... A37. Um, well, considering I want to be a film director, media being my best subject, not a bad thing. Um... Music performance is thir really a 30? I th really thought, like, it gets marked down a lot, music performance, which is really unfair because it's like, it's like a second language. Um, a B on the exam? I wonder how Sienna went because, like, she did really well on that. Yeah, 73.74, so I got higher than that, which I got the 74.95. Yeah, there you go. I'm happy with that.